Okay, our second and final point to point from the Devon course is a three mile, two furlong Black Forest Hunters Chase. Number one, White Rum for Martin Needham. Two, Red Cape for Thomas Rogers. Three, Alpi Cat for Darren Thompson. Four, Lost Pirate for Mr. Beckwith. Five, Red Rose Cafe for Paul Rhodes. Six, Bumbell for Daniel French. And seven, Bafoos for Alex Cherry. Nice aerial shot as they away here. Let me pan back out. There's some big players in here, including the one that. Uh, Looking to pick up a point to point. So Lost Poet's going to lead us from Red Cape. We've got Red Rose Cafe. They get to the first a poor jump there by I think Red Cape. Blundered his way through the top. Got the one grey at the rear, which is White Rum. I just call him Bacardi. I think Martin's partial to uh, a bit of White Rum. In fact, I think Martin's partial to any kind of alcohol. Oh no, that's Doug really, isn't it? Doug prefers his alcohol even more. Yeah, I have a tinny mate. A little bit of Australia. So we're being led by Lost Poet from Red Cape in second. Red Rose Cafe. Alpy Cat. One against the fence is Bafoos. Big old fence there and they all go through the top of it. For Alex Cherry. Wide of all there is his bun bell. And the grey at the rear. We get to the third of the 18. They all negotiate it well. Devon, the Black Forest. Point to point course. Take this right turn here. Line up for the fourth. It's a plain one. Everybody gets over it. A bit slow over it was Alpicat. Which is an easy name for Darren Thompson. Very um, unusual. And he has the most confusingly sounding names. Lost Poet that leads us by about three to Red Cape, then Red Rose Cafe. And here Red and an Alpy Cat in Red. And the three just together are Bun Belt, Bafoos, and White Rum. Now we'll get over the fifth. Oh, one through the top of it there, Bafoos. Bit of a baboon. Or a buffoon, should I say. I'm trying to be like Boris Johnson, a total buffoon. Into the six. Nicely strung out now. Lost Poets leading us into the seventh. It's over it well. Let's do the remainder. So single file, chaps. Still over two miles to run. It's Lost Poet that still leads us. Now that four to Red Cape. Alpy Cat's third. Red Rose Cafe's fourth. Then Bun Bell, White Rum, and Buffoos. Say Boris Johnson's miraculous recovery from a 50-50. And he was on the Tuesday, I think. And he was released on the Friday. He had a miraculous recovery. But it's Lost Poet that leads us by about four to Red Cape. Now we count a further three back. Then another couple back to Red Rose Cafe. And the three at the rear are still Bun Belt, White Rum and Bafoos. Lost Poet's lead's a little bit smaller now. By a couple. We've still got over a mile and a half to travel on his lost poet. Into the ditch. Gets over it well. That is the remainder. That's half the fence is done. They're all still on their feet here. Claim one the tenth. Oh, we went straight through the top of it there. Did red cape. He's allowed Alpicat to get closer. Further links back to Red Rose Cafe and then a couple to Bun Bell. And the foos and white rum is right at the rear. And we go round the woods. Into the 11th. Everybody gets over it. A really good jump there by Red Rose Cafe. He's jumped himself into, into third. Only about four lengths from the lead. And Lost Pants being joined by Red Cape. Alpicat's still there. The winning post. One more time round Japs. So still lost poet led from the beginning. Taking to the next. Red Cape in second. Alpicat's alongside Red Rose Cafe. Oh, slow jump there, poor jump there by Bafoos. Has allowed White Rum to challenge him for last position. It's still lost poet. Red Cape and all over the 13th. Not unlucky for anybody. 
Cross Plate's joined by Red Cape now. These two together. We'll have a little bit early. Another poor jump there by Bafoos. If he stays on his feet, <laughs> I'll be amazed. But it's Lost Poet and Red Cape. These are your one and two. Then about three back to Bunbell now. He's moved up into a challenging position with Red Rose Cafe and Alpy Cat. Then we've got about six back to Bafoos and White Rum together. Couple of old timers. Not talking about the horses as they get to the 15th. They're all over that. A really slow jump by Alpy Cat. Kind of drops him away from the real challenge now. As we've just got over half a mile left to challenge. Ugh, travel and it's still Lost Poet that leads us. Been there since the beginning. It's got about three length advantage from Bun Bell. Red Rose Cafe, Red Cape. They're under a lot of pressure now. Alpy Cat's gone a little bit wide. White Rum I can still see. But Foos is nowhere. But it's Lost Poet still. Leads by about three. Three and a half furlongs left to go. Three to jump. And it's Lost Poet from Bun Bell. Red Rose Cafe and Red Cape. Alpy Cat trying to get there. The leaders are over the... Yeah, 16th with only just the two to go and it's Lost Poet from about three but being chased down now by Red Rose Cafe they all got over the 17th there's one to jump and it's Lost Poet still there but Red Rose Cafe trying to reel him in it's Lost Poet from Red Rose Cafe in second Bun Bell and Alpicat fighting out third and fourth swing right handed here to the last and it's Lost Poet but he So he was almost ready to challenge down the Paul Rhodes horse, but went through the top of that last fence. So Lost Poet takes it from Alpy Cat in second. Lost Poet, not sure of the silks. There's a win for Mr. Beckwith. Well done. Second was Alpy Cat for Darren Thompson. Third was Red Rose Cafe for Paul Rhodes. Fourth was Bun Bell for Daniel French. And fifth was Bafoos for Alex Cherry.